all my Hello Maniacs out there. Welcome back to the channel. It's so great to see you again. And guys, check it out. I got a new camera. It's all so crisp and clear and the colors are so bright and vivid. I bet you can totally see all my nose hairs. That, that you'd want to. I'm sure you guys can tell a difference in quality because oh my gosh, this is just miles better than what I was using. What I had was fine, but this, oh my gosh, it's so clear, the colors just pop, I'm so happy. Now this means I gotta really boost up my game. Urgh. So, I felt it was time for Franken voices to shine this year in 2018. <laughs> So you guys know the drill, I have my bowl of impressions here, I have to draw two names out of the bowl and then mix those voices together in a Frankenstein-like manner to get a brand new voice. So without further ado, let's get to the impressions. I don't know why every time I do Franken voices I gotta do like a Dracula thing. Over. First up, we have, I grabbed like three. Booingle, the Booingle will be choice number one. And Booingle will be mixed with who? I don't know, who is this? Harry Potter. How's that gonna work? Edward does Booingle and Harry Potter. Sound like together? Hey Rocky, we have to save Dumbledore and save all of Hogwarts to make sure that it's safe from the clutches of Lord Voldemort. Expecto, expecto. <laughs> I don't know why, I really like that one. I feel like that voice has got a lot of charm to it that if it was in the right character, that could actually be really cool. Hello there, my name is Zenitias Witt, and I am here to critique the food at this particular restaurant establishment. I think that could be pretty cool. I like that voice, okay. I'm glad we mixed those two together. That was actually really cool. Next up, we have... Pinocchio from Shrek, not Disney, the Shrek one. And Pinocchio will be mixed with... The Gingerbread Man. How'd that happen? So what does Pinocchio and Gingy sound like together? No, not the buttons. Not my gumdrop buttons. I'm a wearing lady's underwear. I most certainly am not. I was surprised I got a different voice out of them. Their voices are kind of similar in the movies. Just like, we've got Gigi, then Pinocchio. They're, they're in the same pitch, but I was surprised. We actually got something different with them. This freaking voice is just really surprising me today. Okay, let's keep it rolling. Next up, we have Bulbasaur. And Bulbasaur will be mixed with the Wild Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. So what does Bulbasaur and the White Rabbit sound like together? I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye, Bulbasaur. 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 Bulbasaur is kind of intense. Bulbasaur. 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 And then you like kind of zero him in with White Rabbit. It's kind of intense. I'm surprised. Next up, we have. Oh, come here. What do you say? Crush the turtle, man. Ha <laughs> ha. Dad will love it, dude. Crush. It's totally gonna be mixed with. Who? I don't even know. Oh, T Roy, Steve Irwin. That fits because they're kind of. They're both Australian. So, what does Crush, man, and Steve Irwin sound like together? Hey, look at this beauty right here! This right here is a green sea turtle. No Helen on the shell, dude. Okay, just waxed it. But look at it! I feel like we just got a slightly more Australian crush. I mean, I, I, Crush doesn't really have an Australian accent. He's kind of got a hint of one. Very light. The sea has got it really heavy. I think all that did was just bring a little more Australian out in Crush. Oh well. Next up, we have... And Charmander will be mixed with... I say look at now, Foghorn Leghorn. Listen up now, boy. And what does Charmander Char 
Ah, say, sound like with Foghorn Leghorn, boy. Listen up, I don't think you heard me. Foghorn Leghorn. What do they sound like together? <laughs> now listen up, boy. Charm and the char. Char, char. Listen up, boy. That boy's about as sharp as a pinball. This kind of sounds like somebody that I knew back in Texas. <laughs> Next up, we have... Gober from How to Train Your Dragon. And Gober will be mixed with... Who do we have here? <laughs> the Incredible Hulk! <laughs> what about his Scottish Hulk? <laughs> so it is Gober! And the Incredible Hulk! Sound like together? Mmm! Hulk smash! And they also seal your socks, but only the left ones. What's with that? But Hulk like left sock! How do you do a Scottish accent like that? It's just, oh, my brain is having such a hard time with that. I don't know what it is, my brain's just sitting there going, you will not speak with a Scottish accent that low. I'm like, why, brain, why? Why, brain, why won't you let me? Nerf! And for the last one, we've got... Gaston. <laughs> and Gaston will be mixed with who is the lucky person to get mixed with Gaston. Cotton's parrot from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> and what does Gaston? Ah, and Cotton's parrot. Something particular. Here, picture of this. A rustic hunting cabin. My latest kill roasting on the fire. My little wife massaging my feet. While the little ones play on the floor with the dogs. We'll have six or seven. No, bro. Strapping boys like me. <laughs> that voice sounds so annoying. I say that with a really annoying high-pitched squeal. <sighs> well, gotta practice what I preach, you know? <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later this week. Bye!